Hi, my name is Jordan, and I am excited to be talking with you today about Abeka's Pre-Algebra Digital Teaching Aids, or DTAs for short. Now, perhaps you're like me, and you're a math teacher that feels, hey, give me a chalkboard, I can teach anything. Well, my goal today is not to convince you to throw aside your chalkboard, but instead, I'd like to show you some of the amazing benefits of supplementing your teaching with Abeka's DTAs. So let me start with one of my favorites, and these are interactive DTAs. These are web-based programs that you can run in a typical web browser. So Internet Explorer, Edge, Chrome, Safari, any type of browser that you have, you can pull these up and run them directly in there. Now, what's the benefit of this? You don't have to worry about compatibility. As long as you can open a web browser, then you can run these. So that includes things like tablets, phones, laptops, any of these, you can run these interactive programs. Now, where would you use these in your classroom? Well, their main benefit is that they can provide the opportunity to, in a very quick and engaging manner, teach topics that would normally be time prohibitive. So let's go ahead and take an example here. Say that today you're teaching through the real numbers, number classification. You've shown the chart. You've gone through term definition, term definition, all the way through. Okay, maybe not the most engaging of lessons, but how now are you gonna check student comprehension for this topic? Why not use Abeka's interactive digital teaching aid? You can see here that we've got a very similar setup to what you saw on the chart, and you can go over here and you can add the specific numbers that you wanna check. So we're gonna check zero, this one, square root of two, bunch of different numbers there. Students can then at that point come up to the board. You can have them drag each of these over where they feel that they need to be and then check each of these. Now I've got one already filled out, bunch of numbers over there at the side. So let's imagine here, we've got a student coming up. They say, okay, zero, that's a whole number. We're gonna drag this one here, this one here, here, and we'll pull both of these over to the irrational. Then you as the teacher can say, okay, how did we do class? Well, let's check. We hit our grade button right there and we can see, hey, we did a pretty good job, but we've got one that's wrong here. We've got the square root of nine over here that's marked as wrong. Class, why is that incorrect? Well, square root of nine comes out evenly. It's back over here. We can check again and see that we got all of them correct. Do you see how this can be used in your classroom? Very quickly now, we have covered this topic in a very engaging manner for the students. We've really pulled them in and their interests now over this topic. And this is just one of the many interactives that Abeka has provided. In addition to these interactives, we also have animations. These are small videos that can be played in your classroom. Most of these contain audio. I've got the audio actually muted for several of these here. But again, time-saving incredibly useful to the students to pull their attention in. And let's see what some of the things that we can do with these. How about proof-based stuff? Here we have the proof that the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Difficult to do with the chalkboard, really easy to do with one of these animations. How about the FOIL method? Showing why that works. Again, takes up a lot of space on the chalkboard, a lot of writing, a lot of time, very easy to do with this animation. How about review concepts? Long division. Take a look at this next one. We have the audio playing. Multiply the divisor by the first digit of the quotient and write the result under the dividend. Multiplying 28 by 4 gives us a product of 112. Fourth, subtract the product. Subtracting 112 from 128. Now you've quickly covered that review concept. How about three-dimensional topics? I'm not good at drawing a cylinder at the board, but now I can teach the formula for the surface area of a cylinder very quickly, engaging, really get it across to the student. Cartesian plane. Again, very difficult to get up at the chalkboard, especially with a topic like this, rotation. But you can see the animation that can be done here. Each of these points showing exactly what happens to it in order for a rotation to take place. Much more engaging for the student and easy for you to do as a teacher, saving you a whole bunch of time. How about geometry tools? The protractor and compass, difficult to use. The chalkboard tools work, but they're difficult to work with. They don't quite match up with what the students have. Here you can see a protractor that very closely matches up with what the student's going to be using, and you can see the process going. Now again, this has audio 
that would normally play with it, you can use that audio the first time to show the process. The second time, run it again in a loop with the audio muted. You can then go around, answer questions for your students, and questions can be answered just by watching the animation going on in the background as well. Saves you, again, a whole lot of time in your classroom. And again, this is just a couple of the animations that we've provided. In addition to the animations, you're also given access to over 300 static images. These are pictures from the textbook, also from the TE, with information that includes things like tables, examples, charts, all of these provided for you. And again, this is not just the student text, but also the teacher edition. So you've got extra interest items to really pull in your class as you use these. Saves you a whole bunch of time in bringing stuff to class. You're not having to bring uh, difficult to manage chalkboard visuals for you to clip up. Instead, you've got all of these digitally at your fingertips. Again, I've got these put in a typical slide presentation. That's the way that I found is the easiest way to do it. You can work these directly from the Abeka website. However you see fit, typical laptop, tablet, all of these, I'm using a smart board. Don't feel like you have to use a smart board. Any of those devices work for these static images. So have you gotten excited yet? These are Abeka's pre-algebra DTAs, and I hope you can see the amazing benefits of using these to supplement your instruction in the classroom, make it more time sensitive and engaging for your students.